to finish and to uh, go over again, there was a, a kid named John Rowe who also trained in judo, went to the same high school as me. He happened to tell Morris and myself that there was a karate school opening up not far from where we lived. And by the way, up until this point, John had been teaching me a bit of judo, uh, a bit of karate, actually Oyama's karate, out of uh, his famous um, book, you know, on um, Kyokushin karate way back. He was kind of used to introduce me the idea of board breaking and he'd have little tricks and he'd have a punching bag in his garage and, uh, you know, be doing different things from this book. Anyway, that was enough to get my interest again. <clears throat> we went down to the school, which was in Bayswater, another suburb of Melbourne, and I went in and watched this demonstration. Now, the instructor was Tino Severano, and the style was Goju Kai. And Tino had only been out in, the, um, in Australia for about six months. He had a few students he'd been training. So pretty much all they did was their traditional H pattern kata, takioka joden, chuden geiden, a little bit of what's called jukumite, which is kind of controlled sparring. But man, I looked at that and I said, oh my goodness, this is what I want to do. One of the attractions was it was very stand up, unlike judo, which involves strength and the throws. I saw it as being, uh, you know, good for somebody that was smaller like myself and quite thin, that I could use speed and agility, more of a stand up sort of uh, fighting art. And so I joined up and uh, that was the start of an incredible journey that's still going today. Um, I was with Tina for quite a number of years, you know, to black belt rank. And the next chapter was then about to start for me. You know, I, I also, by the way, trained, there was Sal Ebenez, who was another um, Hawaiian gentleman who came out, was partners with Tino in the Goju system. And uh, off we went. Anyway, at that stage, after I think it was five years, there was a gentleman named Bob Jones, who was a fellow student, who basically had the idea of starting up his own style, wanted me to go with him. That style was Zendokai. And we left and started that style in 1970.